Hello friends, welcome in today's class. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 12, Simple Machines, Part 1. If you like my video, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe. Let's take a quick tour of a chapter map. At the end of this topic, you will be able to understand. In the previous chapter, Work and Energy, we discussed, what is work done, transformation of energy and energy resources. In today's class, we are going to discuss our next chapter Simple Machines. Before all else, let's see what is machine. In the pictures, certain devices are shown, which we use, in our day-to-day -day life. Do these devices help us? to perform any kind of work. Yes, using all these devices, we can perform our work in less time, and less efforts. So, these devices are called as machines. So, let's define what is machine. The devices, which are used, to get more work done, in less time, and less effort, are called machines. Machines are of two type. Simple machines and complex machines. Let's study these machines one by one. Let's study simple machines. In the given pictures, how many parts do the machines consist of? Here, we can see the pulley has two parts that are the stand and the wheel. The axe has two parts axe head and wooden handle. The scissor has two parts, handle and blades. The trolley composed of two parts, a wheel and container. And the needle has only one part. If we observe these pictures, we can see that, the machines shown in the pictures have only one or two parts. From this, we will define, simple machines. The machines, which have only one or two parts, and a simple and easy structure. Such machines are called simple machines. Now, the second type of machines, is complex machines. Let's study complex machines. Observe the machines, shown in the pictures. For what purposes are they used? We use, all type of vehicles, like car, scooter, bicycle, to go from one place to another place. You might have seen that, your mother uses a mixer, in the kitchen while cooking. We use a computer, in school, colleges and offices for work. If we observe these pictures, we can see, these machines are composed of many parts, which carry out many processes, for completing a task. And for this purpose, the parts are joined to one another. But, what do we call such machines? Such machines are called complex machines. So, let's define complex machines. The machines, which composed of many parts, which carry out many processes, for completing a task, such machines are called as, complex machines. Now, use your brain power, to solve the following question. Some of the parts of complex machines, are actually simple machines. Is the statement, true or false? Answer. The statement, some of the parts of complex machines, are actually simple machines is true. Because, complex machines are made up of, number of small simple machines. In the part 2 of this chapter, we will learn about, simple machines like, inclined plane, a wedge, and a lever. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe.